A few years back, I had an idea to make a small Arduino based temperature monitor that sat on my network at home. I made a prototype based on Arduino Uno, an Ethernet shield, and a proto board with a DHT11 sensor. My plan was to make a few of these, so I bought quite a few sensors. The DHT11 sensors have got a bit of a reputation for not being very reliable, so I thought I'd test this out by hooking up all of the sensors I do have and seeing what differences they have when they're all put in the same location over the same time. On my breadboard I've hooked up each sensor to 5V and ground and there's the 10K resistor for each sensor between the 5V rail and the data line. Each data line goes to a data pin or an analog pin on the Arduino. I'm not using pin 0 and 1 as they're used for serial or pin 4 as it's used for the SD card. I'm not using pin 10, 11, 12 and 13 as they're used for the SPI. Using the library from Adafruit, we can test each of the sensors is actually working. Here I'm using one of the examples to make sure that each sensor is wired up correctly, responding and actually giving the Arduino reading. For testing reading. purposes, I'm just changing the data pin within this example. Here I've found a sensor not responding correctly, which probably means I've wired it up wrong, or possibly the sensor is malfunctioning. These two sensors are different as they're mounted on a PCB. They have three pins rather than four, and by mistake I've miswired them, so after a quick rewire, they'll be able to communicate with the Arduino. Now that all my sensors are working, I can start modifying the code so the Arduino can read from all of the sensors sequentially, one after the other. My code isn't particularly nice, but I'll upload it so anyone else can use it. Here I'm just outputting the data over serial to the serial monitor within Arduino IDE. To keep things simple, I'm using a CSV style of output. As I won't always have this hooked up via USB and be watching it via the serial monitor, I'm writing the values to the SD card. Here I'm just merging in an example that can be found within the Arduino IDE called Datalogger, which already writes to the SD card. Again, I'm going to use a CSV style of output, which means that when I need to, I'll be able to read this data from the card quite easily. Here you can see the output when it's actually written to the card. Ignore the sequential numbers as this was from a previous sketch. From this format, you can easily import this into a spreadsheet or other data processing software. You can already see there's some variance between these sensors, but I'll put this board somewhere for a length of time and we'll be able to see the actual variance over a longer period. Thanks for watching and listening and I hope this gives you some insight into the cheap DHT11 temperature and humidity sensors. Subscribe for more videos like this in the future.